so hi there unless anyone asks me to do them in Swedish I will do them in English for a while because uh, I also want to um, yeah I want to do that for those here that speak English mainly so um, I will pick these cards for the three cards today and then I will pick some uh, shaman mystical shaman oracle cards and some runes for the personal cards yeah. okay uh, so I'll start with the cards for us all I know there are those around that I don't find English always so easy either so and also my way of <laughs> pronouncing it uh, so um, I will do Swedish once again also if you feel it's disturbing but let me know if it's okay or not or so maybe I can uh, if I recall I can do it every other time or so on so you know okay so here we go for the week then. Um, this is the, the coming week then. The first days. And the beginning, beginning of the week then. And the end of the week. And the... The... What is it even called now in English? Oh my god, the weekend, yeah, the weekend. Let's see now, this is the weekend. So, I'm a little bit tired here. So, let's see what will happen this week. Or advice or something. I'm sorry, <laughs> a little bit of cold. So, like quite nice back, so this up as well. Beginning of the week. Oh, this is Ace of Wands. So this is new energy coming in, potential to it. It's starting to um, bud almost. You know, see, there are new sprouts here and they're very fiery. So a new kind of passion for something or inspired idea or something like that, I would assume. And these are also sparkly, that's why I bought them. I like a spark. If you can see it, I don't know. I'm not sure you can see it here. But they have those kinds of... Anyways. Um, then, at the end of the week, I will read about them as well. Oh, two aces. This is awesome. So here you see the sparkles anyway. Like a mirror, almost. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. So... Um, this is Ace of Pentacles, which also means that I think they go together. Uh, so these, um, um, this idea, whatever it is, in the beginning of the week, that will, like, um, maybe you get it then, or maybe it get more focused, or you get more energy into that, more thoughts around that. That will also lead to money and income and material things, riches, as I see here. And that is also in the potential state, so it's not uh, manifested, but it clearly shows that you should go with these hunches or so, this idea. And though I put the um, light so that it becomes a shadow here, but I hope you can see anyways. And then the weekend then. Here we have almost, uh, it looks almost like, uh, you know, waiting for Christmas times or something. I must read about that. Three candles. But here also I think, I, either, I think it goes together, these things though. So it might be that these then have developed and, and started to uh, grow already. 
Or maybe it's about uh, the time frame, so so this will be when we around Christmas time um, that it starts to really happen more or it can also mean that uh, there is some uh, cooperation here that there are three either three things that we combine or or the two will work with two other people in, that are inspired in this as well I don't know but we will see I think um, I think it talks about something further in the future as well. So if you have had a strong idea that you haven't really acted on yet, I think they suggest you to do so. Okay. The wand, this card. The beginning of the week. The wand connects to the creative energy of the universe, to the hand of the person who wields it. Magical will directed through the wand can dispel negativity and draw positive power. It is the divine spark of change and growth. In ritual and magic, its primary elemental energy is fire and its direction on the sacred circle is south, according to some then. You have the ability to accomplish any task if you bring the power of your will to bear upon it. Creative solutions are at your fingertips. Seize the moment and make it work for you. All magic is at the com your command if you believe. So it's about action, will, magic. And there is an affirmation for each, car each card here. And here it is. I make creative change happen. And also challenge or question. How will you take command of your life? That's the question for you. So and that will then lead to more income as well. Or yeah. Material riches also. It's the pentacle. Some people actually are afraid of this, but it's nothing to fear. <laughs> um it's it's those points of the pentagram or pentacle uh symbolizes uh, the four elements and then the spirit top there um, and so it's a protective symbol anyways pentacle the pentacle a five-pointed star surrounded by a circle represents the unity of all four elements with spirit yes I said, yes I said. and this is at the end of um, the week here so it's also that you also start to I, I think structure these fires this passion you have into some form actually also because of this holistic quality, it is grounding and centering, bringing wholeness and protection. The pentacle symbolizes bringing something into manifestation from the realms of imagination. In ritual and magic, its primary elemental energy is earth, and its direction on the sacred circle is north. You have the opportunity now to manifest something you desire, bring it forth into reality. Empower your intentions with work on the physical plane to create genuine magic in your life. Yeah, not only the imagination, but also do something practically uh, so to start it up. You have the opportunity. Yeah, yeah, I said already. And the keywords: yeah, manifestation, protection, prosperity, affirmation. I manifest and I manifest what I need, or maybe what you want also, because this was the will. <laughs> so. Um, and challenge what gift is the universe trying to give you now also this is almost like a seed that you can plant in, in your life so to speak make it grow okay and then for the weekend maybe it's a celebration of sorts also because it looks like uh, such a I think maybe it's a card for one of the Sabbaths, so maybe it's a, a, about that. So maybe you celebrate something special also this weekend, or some some of you. So this is about Yule. This is the um, winter solstice. So winter solstice brings the longest night and the shortest day. It is the depth of winter in terms of the light 
though colder days may still lie ahead. The kindling of Yule fires, candles and festive lights affirm the spirit's faith even in the darkest times. It is an affirmation that the sun will return. Holly and mistletoe, ancient symbols of eternal life, add their magic to the season. Turn the flame of your spirit and do not give in to depression or despair. The dark times are temporary. Your faith is being tested. Know that you are eternally loved, even in the most barren and bleak seasons of your life. The light will return always. It's about faith, comfort, light. And affirmation, my inner flame burns brightly and challenge what awaits you in the deepest dark. Something really good, actually. <laughs> yeah. So, this is very interesting in many ways. Also, I recently talked about scrying and using candles and in mirrors and so on. And it, it also seems to relate to this very much. Yeah. Okay, so I hope you get something out of this. And now I'll go to the personal cards then. I thought about using these for the personal cards as well, maybe I should. But then it becomes so many, many, many cards. We'll see, we'll start with a mystical shaman oracle and then maybe, then maybe add these to that as well. those four and as I've said many times if you want to be added to that private uh, group where you can ask for personal read uh, cards then like this page and then go there and and uh, yeah and I will add you there so or write a message where uh, to ask me if you wonder how to do it or you can publicly also write. Okay, I need to try, try to get this out of the box. All right, um, so here it is, there that is. <laughs> so, okay, for number one then, first, the card for you. I think I take this one actually. Oh, wild woman, but it is like reversed. So I will turn it just so you see the image because I like that. But we will see what it means to you then. Reversed may indicate that that's like a little bit blocked for you. You may need to set yourself free. Okay, we will see what it says. When the wild woman dances into your reading, she reminds you of the essence of authenticity and freedom, divested of all social constraints and cultural, cultural conformity, the wild woman holds up a mirror to your essential self, the true essence of who you are and who you're meant to become. She is a reminder of the bright light within each of us that gets dimmed by the restrictions imposed upon us by the expectations of society. She reminds us that in order to be fully present to life, we must uncover that light and let it shine brightly, regardless of the perceived consequences. And the medicine for you here is, excess for its own sake is a sign of imbalance. This is a warning that you may be trapped in obsessive thinking or behavior looking for release in places that will not, never provide it. Let go lest you become like the hungry ghosts of Chinese Buddhist lore that can never be fulfilled. 
True release comes from trusting the fluidity of life, understanding that just as a river needs its banks to flow through, so too do you need boundaries around your thinking and behavior. Now is the time to simplify, be mindful and connect to that light within. So that's that for you right now. Oh, I will just move this one also. Um, and, and I will pick a card from that, which I just used. Oh, I, I think I have a lot of things here now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'll pick a card from, um, from these also. I will just shuffle them and pick it without putting it here on the table, all the deck. Because it will... Um, I don't have room for it right now. Okay, so this card as well. But this is the most important one, but I will take this as well. Oh, this this is uh, interesting. This is the third ace here. So it, ca it can be a new start, but this also is a very sharp tool that you need to be very careful about. This is also about words, about yeah, thoughts as well as this talked about. Um, and th that there is a dark and the light side to it, you know. And how you can easily hurt yourself and others with too harsh words or... I just want to see this, <laughs> the colors here reflected, okay. Um, yeah, so I will read about it, but this is Ace of Air then, so... For you, it is actually this way. See, there's number one there, but I like to see it this way. <laughs> usually in index it's this way so um, so what does this want to say to you Athame the Athame is a ceremonial blade used in ritual and magical workings it's not a weapon and it's generally not used for mundane purposes such as cutting food rather its purpose is to represent the qualities of clarity discernment and setting boundaries yeah, this was also about boundaries, so it's a little bit the same. Um, in ritual and magic, its primary elemental energy is air, and its direction on the sacred circle is east. Freshening winds of awareness are blowing through your mind. It is time to cut away what no longer serves you. Open yourself to new ideas, but don't be afraid to take a stand for what you believe is right. And the keywords are clarity, awareness, focus, and an affirmation is... I see clearly and make wise decisions. And a challenge. Where do you need to set boundaries in your life? Boundaries, yeah. And I think this is also about... Um, yeah, it's not that this is uh, inhibited, like blocked, as I thought. It was more like a, an advice not to, to go too wild. And I think this... Um, in your expressions I think this says the same with words especially this is about words and thoughts and and so on it's really important uh, and also that when you cut in one I mean if you hold it when it's a double blade when you cut in one direction you also hurt yourself it's like it's it goes both ways so yeah very important then I will take a room for you as well let's see I just open this little pouch here if I can. So I won't pick them out, but I will just, uh, without knowing which one, I will just take one here. If I can open this. So, so room for you here would be this one. Okay, also reversed. Okay, now. Okay, how to even? <laughs> I need to move these things to the side. And this, and here it is. So. So, this one then. What will it say to you? It's about growth. But it is reversed for you. I will see. Berkana. 
growth rebirth birch, birch tree um, events or more likely aspects of your character interfere with the growth of new life you may feel dismay at failing to take right, right action but rather than dismay what is called for here is diligence diligence yes yeah examine what has occurred your role in it your needs the needs of other people are you placing your wants before the needs of others it is like uh, this is like emphasized are you placing your wants before the needs of others you should question yourself there strip away until you can identify the obstacles to growth in this situation then penetrating gently imitate the wind also when you speak like gently it, it uh, encourages you to do you may be required to cultivate the soil once again yet through correct preparation growth is assured you need yeah this is also about that it seems to be many topics in this in these cards and the rune and it's not that you can have ever um not succeed but you have to do the preparation that is needed to succeed in whatever area you know it is you can't just um yeah otherwise um yeah, otherwise it's difficult to or even impossible sometimes so it says itself so i don't have to repeat this but i wanted to also say that um yeah so you don't have to wonder whether or not you can achieve what you want it is possible it's just that you need to do the preparation work that's what it is about you have all the what you, that you need for it and this seems to be about something else and some other situation you have a lot of energy and i think i've seen this for you before if i don't recall wrong that this energy can like floor others a little bit and I think it says a little bit the same here. It's a bit sharp. That can be helpful sometimes, but I don't think now. In this situation, whatever it is you are thinking of. So uh, I think it just uh, um, hurts you and others. Okay. Then we will see. The, I hope you got something out of that. And feel free to ask me if it's some other questions around or... And then number two, and maybe I should do this. I know that this may be, I always read in English anyways in the cards, so I don't know. It doesn't matter however I do this then. But if there are some strange words, I will try to um, translate them in this case. A bit. Okay, let's see now. First card for number two will be... Or maybe the only now I will take two cards for everyone then. Let's see. I think this one as well this time. Oh, for you, thunder, and it's reversed. Thunder. Hmm. Yeah, it was very beautiful reversed actually. Huh. Here are some buffalo running. Okay see what that is I want to say to you then yeah and also if someone want me to translate from English to Swedish in these uh, books when I read them maybe someone want that really I could although it's <laughs> it's easier actually the other way around okay um, hope you understand this uh, legends speak of great thunder beings who live in the sky and call for your attention when great occurrences are meant to happen in the world. They warn when tensions in a situation are called upon to be released. Their presence in your reading reminds you of the dramatic moments of life that change everything. Both awesome and frightening, when thunder arrives, it is also a wake-up call, one that you will not soon forget. <laughs> And it says the medicine, do you feel like unnecessary drama is waylaying your life? 
Could you be exhausted from listening to others tell your, you their never-ending victim story? Or could you be telling yourself a version of the same? It's time for an about phase. You're being warned that to continue on this path will cause you to regret your choices, even if they appear benign or familiar. It's time to say no to drama, both yours and others. Focus on solutions rather than problems. You are worthy of a drama-free life. Mm. Ja, att släppa på spänningarna och sådär. Det tar mycket energi annars, helt enkelt. Det behöver inte vara fel så sett, men... Ja... Mm, söka lösningar istället för att eh, se problem och eh, ja, för det kan bli lite överväldigande både för dig själv kanske och, och andras problem kan också vara överväldigande för det är att undvika även att lyssna på andra som de eh, klagar mycket faktiskt och så för att det tar energi helt enkelt mm. Utan fokusera på i så fall vad det kan finnas för lösningar. På ett, och ibland vill inte människor just då förmår inte vara där att de söker lösningarna. Men du behöver ändå inte lyssna på det. Om det är så att det finns runt dig. Du kan bestämma när det är nog för dig. Så, och så ska vi ta ett kort från dem. Ta det här kort för er. Oh. Oh oh, <laughs> it's the, uh, the horned god kallas den här. Den behornade. Det är liksom djurens konung och beskyddare och, och, uh, och natur, väktare av naturen och så. Vi ska se vad jag kan tänka säga. Det här har faktiskt att göra med en annan av de här sabbaterna eller högtiderna. Lunasa som är första augusti firas den. Och det är en skörde tid. Så, jag läser om det bara. Lunasa is the Celtic cross quarter holiday that welcomes the beginning of autumn. The corn is ripe and ready for gathering. At this time of the year the horned god becomes a symbol of sacrifice, the grain cut down for bread and the seeds return to the earth for the next year's harvest, also known as Lamas or Loaf Mass. This day is celebrated by baking and eating of bread in a mindful way, acknowledging its ancient tradition of holiness. In the cycle of life there must be an offering for blessings bestowed. It is not enough simply to expect to receive, you must also give back. You may need to sacrifice one plan or dream in order to bring another to fruition. Offering cycle sacrifice. Affirmation. I offer myself at the altar of service. Challenge. How are you withholding your gifts from the world? Så det här kan handla om... Ja, det är kanske i det här fallet, eftersom det här kom fram först. Det här liksom lite dra, dramat helt enkelt. Och, och så jag tänker att det är det du behöver släppa taget om det är det som är det du behöver liksom offra för för din lyckas skull helt enkelt ibland vill man ju verkligen gå all in i att uttrycka sig men det, det föreslår de att du inte ska just nu så ska vi se en runa till dig då den här mhm den är också reversed i oas. Ska vi se vad den vill säga. Vad sa jag nu den där? Då ska vi se. Tror jag det är. Jag måste kolla lite tydligare här. Kanske kallas den inte ens så. Jo, Ewas. Defense Averative Powers U Tree. Um, aha, det, det är faktiskt är fast den här reversen liksom samma. Det finns ingen riktig re- reversed. 
As we are tested, we uh, found the power to avert blockages and defeat. At the same time, we develop in ourselves an aversion to the conduct that creates stress in our lives. Ja, så det säger lite samma sak. Vi börjar ogilla det som skapar den här stressen. Och även att det kan vara, som, som jag sa, stress runt hur andra människor också har. Eller kanske, ja, som jag sa det. Um, if there appears to be an obstacle in your path, consider that even delay may prove beneficial. Det kan också vara, även om det ser ut som det drar ut på tiden, saker, lösningar och sådär, så kan det vara en poäng med det. Det kan vara gynnsamt. Do not be overly eager to press forward, for this is not a time or situation in which you can make your influence felt. Patience is the counsel AWAS offers. Nothing hectic, no acting needy or lasting after a desired outcome. So tåla mod alltså. This rune speaks to the difficulties that can arise at the beginning of a new life. Often it announces time of waiting for a spring to fill up the water for fruit to ripen on the bow. Så det handlar om ja, i väntan egentligen här och inte agera. Perseverance and foresight are called for here. The ability to foresee consequences before you act is a mark of a profound person. Avert anticipated difficulties through right action, this rune is saying. And yet even more than we are doers, we are deciders. Once the decision is clear, the doing becomes effortless, for then the universe supports and empowers our action. Receiving a was, you are put in notice that through inconvenience and discomfort, growth is promoted. This may well be a trying time, certainly it is a meaningful one. So set your house in order, tend to business, be clear and wait on the will of heaven. Hmm. So, det ser väldigt hoppfull ut, ut, men de säger åt det att ja, bromsa in... De, de, de negativa känslorna och fokuset liksom. Okej, okay, då är vi på nummer tre. Personliga kod. Hoppas du förstår det här nummer två. Då ska vi se för nummer tre. Här ska vi se vilket det kan vara. Jag tar det här istället nu då. Jag dra så ofta dit Mm, där kommer The Wild Woman upprätt. Så då betyder det mer att omfamna den här vilda du. Att tillåta dig att vara, kliva utanför normen och, och vara på det sätt som du de som du är och som du vill vara. Utan att ta hänsyn till hur andra tycker att det borde ska vara. Oh, I started to speak Swedish. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. Uh, this is embracing the wild woman then. I'm not sure if I can... <laughs> I go in between uh, English and Swedish without even noticing. Okay, let's see. When the wild woman... This is the same, the beginning, for the upright... When the wild woman dances into your reading, she reminds you of the essence of authenticity and freedom. Divested of all social constraints and cultural conformity, the wild woman holds up a mirror to your essential self, the true essence of who you are and who you are meant to become. She is a reminder of the bright light within each of us that gets dimmed by the restrictions imposed upon us by the expectations of society. She reminds us that in order to be fully present to life, we must uncover that light and let it shine brightly, regardless of the perceived consequences. Ja, oavsett konsekvenserna så behöver vi vara autentiska och, och uttrycka vårt ljus. Okej, okay, the invitation. When the wild woman comes to dance in your reading, You're invited to shine brightly and to know that your true self is being called out to engage the world. This is a symbol that your long-held dream is beginning to take root and wants to be expressed. Your authentic self doesn't fit in a box. It needs the freedom to shine. It's time to have courage and step into the light. The wild woman says, 
Shine brightly, dance with abandon, be yourself and let great spirit decide what happens. You'll be happy you did. Hmm. So, yeah, so du ska inte, you should, you should not like restrict your movements, rather the opposite here. Yeah. Okay, and then one of these cards. Oh, look at this Halloween time. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. It it may also talk about when this. Uh, I mean, it's very close, but also. Uh, when to actually set yourself even more so free, I think, very soon. Okay. This is uh, Soain or, or Halloween then. It's the Celtic cross quarter holiday that welcomes the beginning of winter. It is a time when the veil is thin between the worlds of the seen and the unseen. The ancestors and spirits of the dead are honored. Their wisdom and messages are sought. Jack o' lanterns light the path for those who travel through the veil and protect against any evil or mischievous spirits that might also be abroad. The ancestors are offering guidance. Watch for unexpected messages in dreams, chance encounters with strangers, or voices whispered in the wind. You have not, nothing to fear in the dark. This is about mystery ancestors deepening and the affirmation. I embody the wisdom of my ancestors. Oh my, this is awesome to you. <laughs> Challenge. What do the spirits of the dead require of you? Not that they require anything, but maybe they want to like, encourage you. So, I embody the wisdom of my ancestors. I think that is just fabulous. That is what, what this is about. This shaman, mystical shaman woman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And this time of the year talks about that exact thing. So yeah, to not to not be afraid of the dark also in that so to speak. To be like you know, there's always this uh, light beings and that's not, I mean light beings is a good thing, but I mean light workers and so on. But there is a balance also to things. It's not to work in a mean way, but to I mean, sometimes you can heal with, with uh, sometimes it, even like as an example, if you would be out in the desert and the sun is heat and and there is no balance, you know, it's not light you need. You may need something entirely else at the time. So it's about the finding the balance and how to work them for the benefit of all. Okay, and then we will take a room for it. Oh, oh, oh I was almost they were almost falling <laughs> uh, onto the floor okay so now i'll pick a room for you as well i must just move them around a bit i think now. so okay so i'll pick one now this ray though okay this is also reversed ray though wonder what that one wants to say now I don't know the runes by heart so well. I remember them when I read them, I remember, but um, I think it's better I check. It's about journeying, maybe also inner journeying. Let's see. Hmm. There is some, it feels like you, there is a question here actually. Yeah, journey, communication, union, reunion. It's about something you, there is a question here, I feel, M more so maybe than from the others that I pick cards from now today. Yeah, so. Andrew. Receiving Ray, though, reversed, puts you on notice to be particularly attentive to personal relationships. At this time, ruptures are more likely than reconciliations, and effort may be required to keep your good humor. 
Whatever happens, how you respond is up to you. The requirements for your growth may totally disrupt what you had intended. Desired outcomes may elude you, and yet what you regard as detours, inconveniences, disruptions, blockages, and even failures and deaths will actually be rerouting opportunities, rerouting opportunities with union and reunion as the only abiding destinations. Uh, so, yeah, what this says is that this, the the interruptions or whatever it is, or blockages you may feel at the time, um, aside, aside from uh, when they are in yourself, when you can push through them, so to speak, but otherwise they may be there for your benefit. Uh, they are, it says, actually. The only destination is union. So, also, yeah, there is no separation, you know, that whole thing. <laughs> so, don't think that there it's the standstill. It's not, even when things don't go the exact way you thought or so on. That is the path, so. Okay, and now number four, the last one of the personal ones. Let's see have in store for you I will just uh, do this since I picked the card anyway so okay I will take this one oh, what's this one for you oh you get the same actually no drama I will probably read it once more then it's thunder reversed it's many cards but still, still comes the same Try to avoid that and try to avoid to be around those who drain your energy. That's like the message here. Yeah. And try not to drain your own energy by focusing on the problems rather than the solutions. So it's hard, easier to say than, than do, I know. But um, the essence legends speak of great thunder beings who live in the sky and call for your attention when great occurrences are meant to happen in the world. They warn when tension is in a situation are in a situation are called upon to be released. Their presence in your reading reminds you of the dramatic moments in life that change everything. Both awesome and frightening when thunder ar arrives, it is also a wake up call, one that you will not soon forget. Do you feel like unnecessary drama is waylaying your life? Could you be exhausted from listening to others tell their never ending victim story? Or could you be telling yourself a version of the same? It's time for an about face. You're being warned that to continue on this path will cause you to regret your choices, even if they appear benign or familiar. It's time to say no to drama, both yours and others. Focus on solutions rather than problems. You are worthy of a drama-free life. And if you would, I have suggested this to several. I'm not sure how much, um, how, um, I mean, how what they exactly accept and so. But if there are persons living around here, there is also free counseling. Um, I think they sometimes work um, mainly related to those with close to addictions of sorts. But still, I know they haven't only done that, anyways. Um, and this is called solu uh, solution focused brief therapy, and and that's really brilliant. It's a it's a way to help transform your mind. It's easy to f follow your own tracks in the mind, and it's hard to come up with the right questions that will unlock yourself from the same path. So that's brilliant, really, to do. For anyone, it's really an exploration to discover new um, opportunities or ways of thinking. So maybe that could be something here in, in this town. It's Odin, the counseling Odin. Odin, <laughs> Odin, <laughs> yeah, it's called, actually, which is uh, fun also. Um, yeah, so maybe, I don't know, have you ever heard about that or check that out? Uh, maybe that could be something actually. Um, I don't know anything about you, so I don't uh, 
have any ideas about your life like such but I think about how what the brilliant method that is to uh, find solutions yeah solutions focused <laughs> it's called yes okay so mm, then I'll pick a card from these so and, and there is a warning yeah it's really draining even when it seems valid to fight for a just cause and something like that. It still drains your energy and it's not good for you. So stop. And if you can't do it by yourself, then seek help for it. Um, to, it's not that it means that something is wrong with you. It means that you can get help to find a way to look at things in a different manner rather than saying that you you don't have the ability yourself it's it's more like it's an easier path and uh, and also yeah everyone can get trapped in our thinkings and so so okay so from this then i take this card oh what is this then little fairy houses in the tree maybe yeah. Hmm. What if, what about this card? I just want to see this. Okay, never mind. Okay. Mm hmm. What does this say? Maybe a move or something. These are like houses. Did you see that? It looks like almost mushrooms or something. But someone is living in them. <laughs> Look, there are some fairy people here. Okay, and there, actually, in the tree there are some, some also. Mm -hmm. This is magical. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. We folk. Various gnomes and elemental beings of all sorts share the earth with us and are part of its magical essence. You might catch a glimpse of them from the corner of your eye or simply sense their presence in some secluded spot. Seek them where their world and or our world meet, amongst the roots of ancient trees, on the misty mountaintops and at the edge of the sea. There are helpers willing to pitch in and give you the assistance you need on a cause or project that is dear to the heart as well, to their heart as well. Look around you, let your need be known and welcome help when it's offered. Yeah, I got the sense that you could um, need some help. I mean, it's really good for you if you accept that and seek that. It will make it way easier. Um, yeah. Help community details. Affirmation, I give thanks for helpful friends and challenge. What elemental beings do you sense near your home? a question here maybe to also nature is very healing and calming and drama free in a way i mean it's dramatic in nature sometimes but still it's a it's a different kind of it's a kind of an awesome drama there that kind of thunder is not something we maybe need to avoid but there is a very pent-up energy that needs release here as well so okay now i will um, pick a rune for you See. let's take this one for you let's see is it any rune yeah oh you got is this actually um i don't recall who got what now is this the same as the one who got that had i don't remember if that if so that's uh, all i mean amazing um yeah well how interesting there are also quite some runes. It's not like two. It's 21 runes, so. Okay, let's see again. I repeat myself, but I will do that this time. Um, gro uh, Birkenau, growth, bir rebirth, birch, birch tree. No, this was for the first one. So, um, yeah. 
This means that events or more likely aspects of your character interfere with the growth of new life. You may feel dismay at failing to take right action, but rather than dismay, what is called for here is diligence. Examine what has occurred, your role in it, your needs, the needs of other people, and this question that is emphasized here. Are you placing your wants before the needs of others? Or it could be someone else doing that also, but be, be sure of your role in it anyways. Strip away until you can identify the obstacles to growth in this situation. Then, penetrating gently, imitate the wind. You may be required to cultivate the soil once again, yet through correct preparation growth is assured. So as I said to the other one who got this as well, it's assured success. So you just need to prepare, right? Du behöver förbereda ordentligt det vad som behövs. Då finns det ingen annan eh, möjlighet än att du kommer att lyckas. Utan det handlar om att vara förberedd och att eh, imitera vinden, vara varsam. För att det här är lite, eh, även om det här inte var samma kort som den andra fick i... Eh, i, i första i som första kort så är det ändå här är det väldigt mycket upp, uppdämd spänning så därför behövs de här varsamma orden och, och ja, bemötandet överhuvudtaget att vara varsamt och gradvis förbereda för eventuellt flytt faktiskt eller vad det nu är men jag tänker just att det är små hus här <laughs> hur som helst så finns det hjälp och du bör sök, både uttrycka dig hur det är och söka den och och välkomna den när den finns omkring dig när du vet eller andra uttrycker det. Så det är råd för dig. Så då tackar jag för idag och hoppas att som vanligt att ni förstod lite vad de ville säga. Och till alla tveka om det är någon annan som orkar lyssna på det här. Tveka inte att fråga om ni vill ha kort och även om ni frågar flera gånger är absolut helt okej. Okay. Det är bara roligt att få följa er lite så. Och mm. Så återkommer jag snart igen. Jag försöker göra dem här lite kortare men det är som svårt. Jag vill liksom gå in i korten lite mer. Okej, okay. uh, thanks for today and I will soon be back.